Yes, friends. So uh, let's continue with the chemical properties of amines. So uh, we have discussed about the basicity. Now the next uh, we will try out some reactions. Alkylation. So alkylation we have also seen you know in uh, general method of preparation that if we take primary amine and react with alkyl halide we see that one hydrogen is replaced uh, gets replaced by the alkyl group okay. So you know in the in place of hydrogen there will be a alkyl group and this is nucleophilic substitution the it will you know behave as nucleophile and will attack the carbon to which halogen is attached and then in the next step removal of proton and halogen will, will take place now a similar kind of reaction is acylation We need a base and keep in mind that base, the base that we are taking here, the base should be stronger than amine, okay. So, I am writing this carbon. Okay. And in the next step one hydrogen will be removed I guess no not needed think it's not needed. Yeah. So that's what base will do. R dash so we get amide okay so easily you can say that suppose if we have methanamine and suppose we have We have pyridine. Pyridine is a stronger base than amine. Just remove one hydrogen from here. First of all, write, write, let's write this. Remove this chlorine and remove one hydrogen from here. So that's it. That's the product okay in the same way esters can also react
you will be needing a base and the same thing will happen. So we will get this, okay. So this is how esters react. Now let us see carboxylic acid. So if we take an amine and if we take a carboxylic acid then how will they react it will form a you know salt with carboxylic acid Next reaction is called carbyl amine reaction. It is also a amine reaction. Carbyl amine reaction. So It is a test to distinguish one degree amine. Okay, it is test to distinguish one degree amine because two degree and three degree amines do not show this reaction. Chloroform. Potassium hydroxide and it will project, produce RNC that means alkyl isocyanide. Alkyl isocyanide. This is carbyl amine reaction. This reaction is known as carbyl amine reaction and it has a very you know pungent smell. So, by the order, by the you know bad order of this alkyl isocyanide, we can detect the presence of a primary amine. Okay. Then we have reaction with nitrous acid. What is nitrous acid? HNO2 we have used this earlier. How nitrous acid is produced? By the reaction of sodium nitrite with any mineral acid. Nitrous acid is produced. So when we react, reacts with HNO2, you know in the reaction it can they can give you this also the same reagent. Instead of HNO2, they can give you NaNO2 and HCl. We get this heat with water. Heating will with water will give you N2 and HCl. Okay, N2 and HCl. Now this nitrogen, the amount of nitrogen produced here
the amount of nitrogen gas produced here can be analyzed quantitatively okay we can we can measure the quantity of nitrogen produced in this reaction and this reaction helps in quantitative analysis of nitrogen okay that means how much nitrogen is present in the given amine basically this reaction is used in quantitative analysis of amino acids and proteins okay that means we can check what is the concentration of nitrogen in a given amino acid or protein okay by using this reaction okay in ncrt they have also given this reaction the aromatic amine reaction we have seen this reaction once we have seen this reaction in sandmeyer's reaction the first step of the sandmeyer reaction it produces n2cl but we will discuss uh, this reaction in detail in the next topic we will be discussing the diazonium group so this is benzene diazonium chloride and we will discuss this diazo group separately okay in our next topic now the next reaction is reaction with aryl sulfonyl chloride okay so it's reaction number 6 aryl sulfonyl chloride so how amines react with aryl sulfonic chloride now what is aryl sulfonic chloride so this is basically aryl sulfonic sulfonyl chloride and it's known as Hinsberg's reagent. Hinsberg's reagent. Hinsberg's reagent. Now, when it reacts with any primary amine, it gives. product like this okay this is n alkyl n alkyl benzene sulfonamide sulfonamide okay n because on nitrogen we have a r so n alkyl if it's ethyl then write ethyl n alkyl benzene sulfonam sulfonamide so this n alkyl benzene sulfonamide this is basically you have to keep in mind that this is soluble in alkali and why this is soluble in in alkali because of the presence of this hydrogen okay there is a hydrogen or nitrogen and due to this group it makes this group acidic okay it makes it acidic because we have a uh, you know we have a hydrogen which can be removed and nitrogen is electronegative okay and this group is pulling on it so it makes us acidic that's why they are soluble in alkali okay now instead of taking just keep in mind it's hinsberg reagent now let's let's just say that uh, we take a 2 degree amine then what we will get we will get this that means nn 
डाइल्काइल बेंजीन सल्फोनामाइड एस and since this hydrogen will be removed this hydrogen will be removed so since there is no hydrogen or nitrogen so this is insoluble in alkali now see now see that in primary amine we got एन एल्काइल बेंजीन सल्फोनामाइड एंड दैट वॉज सॉलिबल इन एल्काली इन टू डिग्री डिग्री एम आई विगॉट एन एन डाई एल्काइल बेंजीन सल्फोनामाइड विच इज इन सॉलिबल इन एल्काली बिकॉज देर इज नो हाइड्रोजन ओके सो इट्स नॉट एसिडिक एंड नाउ इफ टे वी टेक नाउ इफ वी टेक अ थ्री डिग्री एम आई वी सी दैट देर वी नो रिएक्शन देर वी नो रिएक्शन एट ऑल so we have seen that the reaction with l aryl sulfonyl chloride can be used to test 1 degree 2 degree and 3 degree that means we can use this reagent hinzberg's reagent to test whether the given amine is 1 degree 2 degree or 3 degree in nature okay now we will discuss electrophilic substitution so nh2 group is so nh2 is what op directive and highly activating it's a highly activating group so what will happen a complete bromination takes place A complete bromination takes place. Bromine, is, bromine goes to all the three carbons, ortho and para. Because it's just because the NH two group over here is highly activating in nature. Okay. Now, see. so we got uh, 2 4 6 tribromo aniline but now say i want just the para isomer i want only the para substituted bromine i want to substitute bromine on only on specifically on uh, para position so what i have to do somehow i have to control the superactivity of this nh2 group and how can can we do that so to do that we will uh, use it acetic anhydride in presence of pyridine we will use this acetic anhydride in presence of pyridine and what it will do it will give us this okay it will give us this and see that this group is not that activating see what is the what is the main region for activating nature of amine this ns2 group this lone pair basically this lone pair travels throughout the ring due to resonance 
and increases the density around this benzene ring and that is the reason why uh, this NH2 group is highly activating in nature ok. But in this case what will happen see what will happen lone pair will move in this direction instead of going to the ring it will go that way and we get a resonating structure like this. So, instead of going in the ring, the electron is going on the oxygen because oxygen is more electronegative. So, that is the reason the ele electron density does not get affected in the ring and so it reduces the activity of this group. And then if we take bromine, we see that we exclusively get substitution substitution at para position we have not written the ortho substituted uh, substitution because it's it's the major product and now treatment with uh, alkali or acid will give you your final product ok. Let us try nitration. So, we will get a mixture of para ortho as well as meta we also get a meta substituted product we know that aniline is ortho para directive but still we get a meta product ok and the question arises that why why we are getting this meta product ok. So, the thing is that the nitric acid protonates the NH2 group ok the hydrogen ion from this nitric acid will protonate the this nitrogen and lone pair will not be available there. So, it makes it meta directing group. So, though the percentage is very low, though the percentage is very low, the ortho isomer is uh, para isomer is 51 percent, 2 percent and 47 percent, but still it will produce. So, it will give us a mixture of, uh, you know, nitro substituted products, but see, we will do the same thing this time. If I only want the para product, then what I will do? Acetic anhydride, pyridine, you get this, you use nitric acid.
you get para as major product and you get your final product okay so this is how you produce predominantly the para isomer now we will do sulfonation that means reaction with sulfuric acid so when it reacts with sulfuric acid instead of giving any ortho or para isomer it will give us this okay ns3 positive and hso4 negative okay there will be a if we heat yeah. now see this is you know it has a acidic group and a basic group at the same time okay so this is basically this is basically a structure of a amino acid we will discuss it in the next chapter in detail and you you must have seen these things in your first year biology syllabus i am sure then it can exist in this form also okay in this form also and this form is called jwitter ion jwitter ion jwitter ions are neutral jwitter ions are neutral in nature okay jwitter ion now see There is a very good thing about amines is that though this group is highly activating, but aniline does not show Friedel crafts. alkylation or acylation as it reacts with AlCl3 forming a positive charge on nitrogen which creates ring for further substitution so basically what happens you know we know the reagent for alkylation we have this reagent infidel craft alkylation so what happens instead of going for uh, electrophilic substitution aniline will react with this and will uh, since alcl3 is a lewis acid and aniline is not basic but even if it is not basic it has a lone pair so they will form a salt okay and there will be an, uh, there will be a positive charge on nitrogen and that will do what that will reduce the electrophilic property of nitrogen the aromatic nitrogen okay so what will happen the lone pair around the nitrogen will vanish 
so if the lone pair ion nitrogen is not uh, is not there then we we won't have that activating nature of the group so the further electrophilic substitution stops that's why they cannot show friedel-crafts alkylation and acylation okay so basically this is all for this video lecture so we have discussed the chemical properties of amines in the next uh, video lecture we will discuss about diazo groups how they are prepared and their chemical properties and then we will see some exercise questions from this group uh, from this chapter okay